So when I first started talking to people about getting a hay steamer, everyone told me how difficult it'd be to fit into our yard routine and we'd give up and never use it. So basically I just want to show how easy it is to use a hay steamer and all the benefits that come with it. So we have a hay steamer, um, we have it in our hay barn so it's away from the cold weather and it's near the hay so it's easy to use. So basically you have the boiler which needs descaling every four to six weeks of cleaning out once a week. Funnel, top it up with water. This is already full of water, so, so you fill it up, put this back on. You've got to make sure the boiler isn't underneath the plug directly, otherwise, the steam can trip your electrics. And then you Our hay watering from high clear horse feeds. in the clips because they do hurt your fingers. And then just switch on the green button. And then you have to wait for the temperature gauge to go all the way around into the green zone. So we've waited for about 40 minutes to an hour. Uh, you can put it on a timer at the plug if you're going to go off somewhere and forget. Um, but we're on the yard most of the day. So as you can see, we are now in the green zone, about 80. So we now need to switch it off. So you press the green button again. Turn it off. Unclip. Make sure you stand to the side to open it so that you don't get loads of steam in your face. Um, we d don't use hay nets in this because the normal hay nets will shrink. But you can buy special hay nets from Hay Gain, which you can then make your hay nets up and then steam them in there already. So we steam our hay and then put it into hay nets. You can also use conventional bells, uh, as we have here, um, and you can put them with the string straight in your hay steamer and out again. So if you want to put hay bells on your lorry for going to shows or if that's what you use generally. Um, make sure the hay cools down before you take it out. Um, 